2000 Chemistry for Engineering. I'm your instructor. My name is Bill Miller, and uh, I wanted to do a welcome video since the class is starting to give you an introduction to how things are going to work for this class. Let me go ahead and share my screen. And so I can go over the Canvas uh, portion of this class. And I'm at the home page right now, which is where you land when you first open up the Chem 2000 page. And you can see I'm in student view. So this should be exactly what you're seeing. Um, so uh, first thing I want to say is that uh, lecture and recitation are online asynchronous. That means you will complete all of the activities um, without coming to class uh, in person. But then lab is in person from 1230 to 4 p.m. on Tuesdays. And you must appear and you must do the activities. Uh, so um, I'm looking forward to it, actually. And I really think that there's a hands-on component of lab that you uh, it's really much better when we do it in person. Um, so uh, a little bit more information about me uh, and about the class, excuse me. So Chem 2000, we work hard and we have a lot of fun. Uh, in addition to the time spent in class, uh, whether it's asynchronous or in person, you should expect to spend 13 hours a week outside of class doing homework, lab reports, studying for exams. Um, and uh, students who put this time in, uh, I have found, learn a lot, do quite well, and uh, succeed in their future classes, which is what I'm really looking to do here is uh, have you succeed as you move on. Now, uh, again, here's my name. Here's my office, which is Chesapeake 310D, and my phone number. Uh, please do leave a message uh, by phone if you'd like, although email is always a better way to get in touch with me. Uh, and here's my office hours with Zoom links for the online office hours. I'll have office hours Monday evening and Wednesday afternoon on Zoom. And then uh, right before your lab, I'll have an office hour. And I also have one on Thursday morning as well. And you can see I list two locations. So um, the uh, location for my office and the location for the class. Uh, although I think we're going to be doing a lot of lab in Chesapeake Hall 312. So uh, this may change. But this is meant to be my office or the lab that we're going to be in. And those are the two places you'll find me before class. The require, required textbook, Chem 2000, General Chemistry for Engineers. It's an online textbook, and it is uh, free. So, and it's pretty good, actually. It's a good, good uh, review of all the material that we're going to be doing. Um, we've got a lot of uh, information. I'm going to go over to modules right now. And within the modules section, you'll see some information about uh, student support and uh, Canvas resources for students. If Canvas is new to you, then uh, please take advantage of these. Then Chem 2000, there's a lot of information about how the course works here. Course overview, please do read these. And then we've got the syllabus, uh, the lecture lab and homework schedule, some statistical functions, and a bunch of things to go over. Uh, let me say a few words about the periodic. Oh, and please do read the syllabus. It is a contract for this class, and so we will be sticking to it. Now, the periodic table, conversions, and equations for exams. Uh, exams will be in person, and they will be given during lab time. So the periodic table, conversions, and equations for exams that you find here will be the information in addition to the exam itself that you'll get when you do the exam. So uh, I like to tell students that it's a great idea to do all your homework, all your recitations, um, and even while you're going over the lecture outlines, you'll see me pull out my conversion equation sheets in my periodic table. Um, and if you work through all the homework doing this and all of those other class materials, by the time you get to the exam, you'll be familiar with the pages and that you'll be given on the exam. Nomenclature, all that you need to know, and you'll see that in the homework, and you will have uh, nomenclature questions on the exam. Some more information, please read over it. I've, uh, I've gone through all of it and made sure that it's very relevant to your class. Now, week one, what's that look like? Well, there's always an introduction, and the introduction always uh, is due, but there's actually no points associated with it. Take a look at it. Um, you've got your overview and learning outcomes. 
and then your actual assignments. And you can see that typically your lecture outline assignments, which will be abbreviated LO, lecture outline one and two are due um, on the 24th and 25th. Those are, week one has a lot of lecture outline. It's not the same as the rest of them. Uh, and that's because we're gonna try and get some material under our belt uh, so that we do have uh, questions we can ask. Uh, plus it's pretty, uh, it's the easiest material in general. Uh, although, uh, you know, always make sure that you understand it. Anyway, so do both of these. To tell me a little bit about yourself um, is maybe a portion of the recitation assignment or you can think of it like that. Shouldn't be that long. And so because we have essentially a very short um, recitation, if any, uh, we have more lecture outline work this week. And I will tell you that all of the information I'm giving you, I do think a lot about it. I don't just give you busy work. I you know, try and keep it as short as possible, which is what I should do with this video as well. Uh, but hopefully it's, this video too is chock full of useful information and you will benefit from um, watching it and doing all this uh, material. Now, Lecture Outline 1, you watch the videos, you download the um, PDF for the, for the lecture notes, you write the notes as you watch the videos, then you turn in the notes as a PDF uh, using either the Adobe Scan or Cam Scanner app, uh, which I'm more than happy to help you with. Um, and then you get points for them. So you get points for both of these, each of these. You'll do tell me a little bit about yourself. And after you do the lecture outlines, that's when you do the homework. And the homework isn't due until Sunday. Um, so homeworks will be generally due on Sundays. And you should do the homework as soon as you do the lecture outlines. You can start it. The homework is based on the lecture outlines. For example, homework 01-01 draw phases of matter. You'll see how to draw the phases of matter. We'll do that in the lecture outline. Now, a couple other things here. FIL means file upload. That means once you draw the phases of matter, you're then going to scan it in using one of those apps, using your phone, and then upload it um, for the homework. And then I will grade it once the due date is passed. Multiple choice. Um, about temperature and IMF, which is intermolecular forces. Again, something we cover in the lecture outline. Uh, for each of the multiple choice, and all of the ones we'll go over except the file uploads, you have four attempts. And as long as you get one of those attempts correct, you get full credit for it. And, uh, but the trick is that each of those four attempts for almost all of the questions, you'll get different questions, different but related to each other. So you really have to practice. And if you get your first attempt and you want just more practice, do it. Um, there's no penalties for doing extra ones and they're good exam reviews as well because you will see some of the homework questions showing up on the in-person exams. MC is multiple choice. Fib is fill in the blank. Num is numerical answer. So you'll do a question about painting a room You'll give a numerical answer, and this one has a tutorial video to help you answer the question. And then it has this asterisk, and you'll see these asterisks. Asterisks mean that you must show work and submit that work down here as a PDF. Each of these ones will have work. Please number your work for each of these so it's easy to find. Submit it. I don't care how you solve the problem as long as you show work and I can follow that work. You can do it the way I do it in class, in the lecture outlines, or you can do it a different way. It's all good. Um, but I need to be able to follow it. And you can see there's a number of numerical answers, there's a number of uh, fill in the blanks, and there's a number of ones that have tutorial questions uh, as well. So, uh, and there is a lot of homework in week one. We have a little bit less homework typically in most other weeks. Uh, but we're getting started and the lab time is actually going to be, we're going to, there's no lab or lab report this week. You do still have to come. I still do want to meet you this week. Uh, however, um, there will be no lab to do and no lab report as well. 
So, and then that'll be Sunday. And then uh, for the due date for these, there's some text, your textbook readings, which I encourage you to do. You'll see that in the lecture outlines, uh, there are what I call companion problems. You do not have to do the companion problems. They are good practice. And I give you answer keys to them, and those are down here. Then you get to check your knowledge. Check your knowledges are not points for the class. They do have points associated with them, but you can see there's no due date. Those are like mini quizzes that you can take to see how you did on the homework and everything this week. And so they're good practice for the exams, though I will have an exam practice for you when you get closer to the exam. And then uh, wrap up of week one, just telling you what we learned. Now, then it all repeats. You'll have an uh, introduction here, description, where you're supposed to just check, take a look at the page, nothing do. Then you'll have lecture outlines. And even though there are two lecture outlines here, you'll see they're much shorter. I've just broken them into two parts here. Week one is the longest lecture outlines you're going to do. Then you actually have a recitation assignment. For the recitation, you work through these problems, um, and then you submit a PDF. There, the problems tend to be pretty difficult, straight up. They're harder problems. And so, uh, and mostly, and I give you the answers, unless giving you the answer tells you everything you need to know. But um, I give you the answers, and I, I'm looking for your work. Now let's talk for a minute about how you show your work. Your, and I encourage you to work together with your colleagues in the class. That's fine. But do not copy work from another student. If you look at their work and understand how to do a problem, should you get perchance the same problem? And the problems or the recitation will be the same. But um, put it in your own words. Put it in your own format. Do the calculations yourself. Do your own significant figures. Your work that you submit must be different than every other student's. And that's, you know, and if it's identical, and another thing, and if it's identical to another student, if it's identical to any online source, I will give you a zero. So feel free to look at any online source, any of your colleagues' work, right? Um, but make it your own. If you submit copies or if you just write down exactly what you see, uh, if I find it, I'm going to give you a zero for the entire assignment. Um, so do your own work, please. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, uh, anyway, so that's how it repeats. So um, Wednesdays are typically d days that lecture outlines are due. Uh, Fridays are typically days that recitations are due. Sundays are typically days that homeworks are due. Uh, let's see, that's most of what I wanted to say. Oh, about the point breakdown for the class. So uh, when you do the lecture outline, when you do the recitation, uh, as it is, when you do the homework, please ask me as many questions as you want. I am here for you, and I take that, hope, hopefully you'll find this, I take that very seriously. My job is to help you learn. And... You can get the homework points, you can get the lab points, almost all of them, uh, if not all of them. You can get the recitation points, you can get the lecture outline points, just by doing the work. And then there's exam points. Exams are the hardest points because there's nobody to ask. They're in person. Uh, however, the way I've structured the exams is that most students who do all of the work and understand it, for the homework, the recitations, the labs, the lecture outlines, are doing well on the exams. It's the students who try and cut corners, who don't do the homework, who end up copying it, who don't submit it. Those are the students who struggle. And, um, and so you, that's why you will see some uh, homework questions on exams. It's, it's for understanding them. And they'll have similar wording. They'll have different numbers, perhaps. Um, but, but that's this, the goal of this class is for it to be eminently doable if you put in the time and do the work. Hopefully that's what you'll find. Um, I have been doing this 20 plus years at this point, and I think I've had good success and I hope you find that too. If you have any questions after watching this video, 
please let me know. And I look forward to seeing you in lab.